Hi, my name is Alan Katz. I am in the Composites branch of AFRL's Materials and Manufacturing Directorate. We are in a lab right now in which we conduct screening tests for very high temperature capable materials that are candidates to fly on very high speed platforms. We're going to be talking about this particular test and demonstrating it for you uh, when we proceed with the tour and the demonstration. During the demonstration, you will see an oxyacetylene torch in operation, but being used in a rather unconventional, non-traditional manner. Uh, oxyacetylene torches are typically used by welders to join metallic materials. The torch can produce a very high temperature flame, as high as 3500 degrees centigrade. The fuel, as in this case, is the acetylene. Acetylene is a hydrocarbon by formula C2H2. It is stored under pressure in gas tank and using it to assess the effectiveness of materials that might be used at very high temperatures on high-speed platforms. By high-speed platforms, I mean vehicles that might run multiple times the speed of sound even as high as four or more times the speed of sound, which we often refer to as hypersonic speeds. This is very important for the Air Force because the high-speed platforms that I have mentioned are very much the future for the Air Force. These are increasingly important for our nation's defense. And if we do not have these high temperature capable materials, which are truly enabling, that really are required for a number of these future vehicles, then we can't meet the objectives. We won't have these systems in operation of flying as we hope they will fly in the future. So we need to determine which of these candidate materials are truly appropriate to take into further testing and development, or we may not have the materials that we need for these future systems. That's why this is really important for the Air Force. Using the torch, we can quickly screen candidate materials in our lab, but there are no test standards that permit comparison of data with other laboratories. Quite exciting is that we are establishing testing protocols, best practices to make this a reality. We are doing that by collaborating with laboratories in the United States, as well as laboratories in the United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia through our Defense Department partners in those countries. So this is a worldwide collaboration given common interest among the Departments of Defense in our respective nations. And it's exciting to be able to collaborate with colleagues across the globe as we look to compare data, consider the way we're doing this test, and converge upon a set of testing parameters, conditions, apparatus, that will allow us to produce reliable data and to compare that data across the laboratories worldwide with our partners.